Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to evaluate functions. This video is for grade 11 students under their subject, General Mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. By the way guys, this topic, Evaluating Function, is a topic wherein you need to determine what is the value of a given function in a designated value of a given variable. So what we have here is number 1. We are given the function f. f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 7. And we are asked to find f of negative 3. So what are we going to do in this f of negative 3? This negative 3 inside the parentheses is the designated value for the variable x. This will be used to evaluate this given function f. So how are we going to do that? Let's start. We have here f of x. You will replace x by negative 3. So it will become f of negative 3 is equal to copy 3x cubed plus 7. After that, you will replace this x by negative 3. Since this is your input, it will become f of negative 3 is equal to 3 times your x to become negative 3, negative 3 raised to the third power plus 7. Copy this one, f of negative 3 is equal to 3, and then simplify the exponent first, negative 3 raised to the third power, that is negative 27 plus 7. Now, simplify this part, f of negative 3 is equal to how many? Negative 3 times 27 is negative 3 times 20 is 60, 3 times 7 is 21, so this is negative 81 plus 7. And eventually after subtract, after adding negative 81, plus 7, the value of f of negative 3 is equal to negative 74. This is now the value of the function f of x if the input is negative 3. So I hope guys, in our first example, nakuha nyo na yung mismong concept on how to evaluate function. In your early algebra, evaluating function is somehow Parehasya ng evaluating algebra expressions. Now, let's move on with number 2. For number 2, we are given another function, g, function g. So we have g of x is equal to the square root of 3x minus 2. So here, don't worry about the radical. And we are asked, find g of 9. Here, the input is 9. By the way guys, it is not necessary for you to copy this f of negative 3, f of negative 3. The most important part is your solution. And at the end, put your negative f of negative 3 and negative 74. Let's continue here. g of x, we have here g of 9 is equal to, let's uh, direct na natin solution natin. This will become the square root of 3 times your x is 9 times 9 replace x by 9 minus 2 is equal to the square root of 3 times 9 is 27 minus 2. So what we have here is 27 minus 2. So what we have is square root of 25. Meaning, when you simplify this square of 20, 25, this one is a perfect square. Your g of 9 is equal to 5. And this is now the value of function g when you evaluate it if the input is 9. Now let's move on with another example. Now we have the 
function p. So what we have here is p of x, 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. But in this case, we are asked to find p of 0 and p of negative 1. We are given a single function and we need to evaluate it twice using 0 and negative 1 as our input. So let's start with p of 0. For p of 0, what you need to do is to copy 3. Then this x will be replaced by 0. 3 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 2. Simplify. This is 3. This is 0 squared is 0. This is plus 0 because 5 times 0 is 0 minus 2. This one is also 0 plus 0 minus 2. And as you can see, your p of 0 is equal to negative 2. This is now the value of the function if the input is 0. Now let's continue with p of negative 1. For p of negative 1, let's try this one. By the way, you can pause the video and you can try this problem for a while. Okay, let's show the solution. p of negative 1, this is 3 times replace x by negative 1, negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1 again minus 2. So this is 3. Negative 1 square is positive 1. 5 times negative 1 is minus 5 or negative 5 then minus 2. This is 3. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. As you can see, upon evaluating your function using the input of negative 1, this is 3 minus 7, this is negative 4. So that's it guys. And as part of our routine, let me give you an activity about our topic evaluating function. Don't worry because I will give you a simple one. So let's try having this example Wait for a while. Let me give you an example. Let's try number 4. f of x is equal to 2x minus 4 and find f of 3. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to evaluate functions and if you are a grade 11 student who are watching this video please share this video with your classmates or your friends who are in senior high school that are taking up general mathematics. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!